Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to give you the month of May, your 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much love, hope, harmony, peace, prosperity, happiness, all that good stuff. Welcome, welcome back. Aquarius, you guys rock. If you are a cross watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Please remember that when it comes to tarot and oracle card readings and all readings, that it's important that you guys focus on the energy and the messages and how you resonate with them. Do not ever force a reading to fit. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, please leave it behind for somebody else as it may benefit them in their lives. Always, first and foremost, go to our Heavenly Father God, your beautiful angels, your incredible spiritual teams and family, of course, Jesus Christ, and all your loved ones. They're here to help you and guide you and support you. Trust in the divine. Listen to your intuition. And always do what you guys feel is best and right for you. Exercise your free will. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Of course, you guys are wonderful about helping me grow my channel. I cannot do it without you guys. I appreciate all your love and light and support. If anybody wants to go the extra mile, I do have the heart-shaped super thanks below this video. I also have PayPal and PO Box information listed in the description box below. So thank you in advance. Any of the services that I offer, including being a personal life coach, and you guys can ask me like direct questions or a direct question with the scenario, the pricing is below, um, reach out for help if you need it. I can help you defeat a narcissist, um, improve your life, get closure, you know, prepare you for court, different things of that nature. Um, I've have, I have a lot of life experience and um, I've been... A teacher all the way up to being a professor so from elementary all the way to um, college um, I, I wear many hats and I'm ordained most importantly to be a spiritual life coach and um, do tarot and personal life coaching so I will come up with a pricing for your specific situation if you need a personal life coach I'm very fair I'm very honest and um, I'm here to help so get in where you fit in and always check the description box because I will have scholarship information uh, merchandise that you guys can purchase from other people's channels, all kinds of cool stuff going on there. So please um, stay in the know. Always check. Okay. Everything has been prayed and meditated on. Before I jump into your reading, I want to start by saying happy Mother's Day to all the phenomenal women and mothers out there who give unconditional love every day of the year. You guys are loved, adored, and appreciated. You are loved greatly. So thank you. All right, of course, let's jump into your reading. I have the spread of Star to see. I am using a new deck today. I'm excited. It is the closest to a traditional deck that I that I've ever like had this close. I've had things similarly, but um, this is the closest to like a traditional deck. I never thought I'd have one, but God guided me to it, um, and uh, I felt very connected to it. So um, yes, I'll be using it. It's called the Star Moon Tarot. I bought it on. Amazon, I believe, and I will close out your reading with messages from the Magic Manifestation Oracle deck by the Midnight Oracle Shop at the very end of your reading. All right. And I bought that other deck off of Etsy. It's an old deck. I've used it a lot and I love it. So let's start off with the overall energy. You guys, the sun came out actually in the pre-messages. Let's start with the pre-messages. Actually, the sun came out in your pre-messages, meaning you guys are focused on happiness. You're not letting anybody interrupt your peace and harmony and joy. You're focusing on family time. You're resting, relaxing, rejuvenating, all that good stuff. Feeling childlike, laughing more, dancing around the house, enjoying life as you should. I love that as your, as your pre-messages. The overall energy you guys have, the Eight of Cups in the upright. So you guys are leaving disappointments, leaving people, leaving toxic things, low vibrational ones behind, focusing on nothing but your happiness. I love that. So you're not worried about who abandoning you. You are doing the ghosting and abandoning at this time. You're moving on, but you're moving forward with confidence. You're standing in your truth. You're withdrawing your energy. You're doing the cord cutting, pulling your energy back, moving forward, leaving what does not serve your highest good behind. You're ready. You're able. You're willing. You're doing it. What's representing you guys at this time is the Hierophant in reverse. So I feel like a lot of religious people or people who claim to be religious people and speakers and healers or people affiliated, they can even be affiliated with the church. They don't have to be, but people who proclaim to be very religious, 
these people have truly failed you or you guys are reprogramming. For some of you guys, it's both. You guys are becoming more spiritual than religious. You guys are walking your divine path and purpose and you're not letting anything get in the way or stop you. You guys may be seeing signs and synchronicities. Your person, maybe your twin flame or soulmate could have been a harfin or was supposed to be in the upright and they totally let you down. They failed you. They betrayed you. They abandoned the mission. Okay. They did not ascend. And I feel like you guys are going around them. You guys are not going to stop your journey just because other people decided not to listen and take heed to the signs and the calling. So you guys are focused on what's real and you guys still are very much faith based. But I feel like you're doing something maybe untraditional. So a lot of you guys are going to start your own tarot channels. Congratulations. Welcome to the tarot world and family. I feel like a lot of you guys are doing something very different. A lot of people are like haters or they're looking down on you or they're talking about you. Some people are gaslighting you or just a lot of fake energy around you. But it's like you don't care what they have to say. You're going to do you. So Definitely start your spiritual channels. If you guys are doing oils, um, spiritual bracelets, if you're coming up with spiritual products or a spiritual store, dive in and do it. So some of you guys will open up your own shops. Congratulations. I hope that it's very successful. I feel like it will be. I feel like you guys are following your purpose and calling, and that's beautiful. You're supposed to. What's coming in next is a five of pentacles in reverse. So people left you out in the cold. Like I said, people abandoned, they abandoned you in the past. You guys are done and you don't even care if they're abandoning you now based on you coming into tarot or new spiritual beliefs. You are focused on what feels right for you. Okay. Some of you guys are recovering from the loss. So maybe this is your way of getting the money back. This is, you know, going into tarot and having your own spiritual products could be candles. It could be clothes, jewelry, anything like that. I feel like it's going to inspire you to help other people, to heal others, heal yourself, to keep going, keep growing. And also it's going to help you like make more money, increase your money. This is like, it's giving you back what you lost. Especially if you guys felt in poverty, being with somebody who lacked morals and traditions and values, who didn't step into their divinity and life purpose to sit next to you. You know, you're standing in your power where they didn't. So you learn that, Hey, that's a karmic soulmate. I learned my karmic lessons and you forgive them. You're not going to resist change. You feel like change will be very positive. So you're moving on, you're moving forward. And you guys are standing in the energy of the queen of swords. So you will cut out anything that does not serve your highest good. You guys are not going to be bothered with people who are foolish or very selfish people. You don't have any time for the nonsense. You're cutting out, you're removing it. You have places to go, people to meet, things to do being booked and busy. You guys are clear on your boundaries now. You're not going to let people fool you, betray you. You guys are woke, woke. You're very much woke. You guys have gone through ascension and awakenings is what I'm getting. So to some people, you may appear to be cold. You're not concerned or worry about what they say or how they perceive you. You're going to communicate clearly. If they like you, they like you. If they don't, they don't. You guys are focused on the people who do like you, people who are gravitating to you because you are like a light. You're like a beacon of light and you're going forward no matter what. So, you know, your clear communication will allow you to express yourself and you know what's best for other people. Other people may call you a know-it-all from time to time, but really you are all knowing, you know, it's part of your purpose. It's like you guys have a spiritual inheritance. So you're very aware and enlightened about the world and you're not biased. You're very unbiased, but, um, you know, you have the naysayers, you have the haters, they're going to say what they want, but you guys are standing as a queen. So you're not going to suffer fools. People cannot play you. And that's why they're running to and talking crazy is because they know you are the truth. You know, they don't want to respect that, but you're commanding that respect by standing in your power and standing by your word. So they cannot stop you. You will remove anybody or anything real quick, or you will walk away like it's nothing. You're not playing and you're not letting people play you. So this is part of your um, independent justice. This is beautiful. Your communication has greatly improved. It's like you guys have truly found your voice, Aquarius. I love this. The advice from spirit is the temperance. I love this. So you guys are gaining balance and harmony. You guys are doing things in moderation, giving yourself some self-love and self-compassion. So a lot of people cause a lot of pain and heartbreak and grief in your life, but you guys have been healing and this is beautiful. So 
somebody may want to come back in to reconcile. I feel like you may hear them out, but they better come correct. You are not about to hear, you know, nothing negative, no nonsense. You can smell a lie from a mile away. So, you know, they better come correct because you're not playing with your peace of mind. Okay. You guys are gravitating towards earth angels. Some of you guys are earth angels. We love you. We support you. We respect you. We need you earth angels. Um, you guys will have to practice the patience of an angel for certain people who are not on your vibration because they're very much hard to understand at this point. Okay. So don't become overwhelmed by other people's emotions, especially for you healers out there and empaths, like be balanced with your emotions. Okay. So yeah, you guys are being guided by the angels. You guys may even see an angel. Somebody may call you an angel or earth angel or look up to you. You are inspiring people is what I'm getting. So you have the guidance of your angels. Talk to them, call on them. They hear you, okay? And keep healing. Don't let um, other people disturb your peace. And I feel like you definitely won't. You guys may be negotiators as well. You may negotiate some contracts. You might be a manager. You guys could be a parent. Your kids see you as angels. They see you as strong, courageous, beautiful. Stay balanced. I love that. Aquarius, let's see what's happening with family members and people around you that you know. Lack of confidence. This is the six of swords. So somebody is feeling like way down. They don't feel confident. And they're watching you just shine bright. So somebody's like really down on themselves, beating themselves up. They feel like they are a disappointment or maybe they have been a disappointment in your life. They may even say that they're disappointed in you because you're doing tarot and you're doing Oracle and you guys are into the cards and you know, they're like, Oh my goodness. They don't even know what it's about. They're judging, they're prejudging, but um, you may be doing something that's very unpopular around you, but you're not going to stop just because it's not the norm. You're not going to conform to what people want. So you're going to keep achieving, but there's people around you who they feel down about themselves. They're doubting their selves, their skills and abilities. So they're putting you down, but you don't even care. You don't have time for that. You're not letting that penetrate. You have so many wonderful things ahead and so many other things to do. You're not worried about them. Somebody is stuck in their ego. And I feel like they're going to end up going through an ego death because they're going to see you climb. They're going to see you rise and you're not going to stop. You're not going to stop. So it, for you, it's like, get on board or don't. You're cool either way. You're going to go forward. Your train is moving full speed ahead. Your outcome is the high priestess. I love this card. I love the high priestess. She represents being the secret keeper. She's somebody who's all knowing. It could be he or she take it how it resonates. So yeah, with the Hierophant in reverse and the high priestess in the upright, this tells me your counterpart. Yeah, they definitely adverted ascension. They chose not to step into their calling. It's just further clarification and, and, um, you know, confirmation but you guys are trusting your inner knowing, your intuition is heightened. You know who you are. You know where you're meant to be. You know what you're meant to do in this life and you're going to do it with or without your counterpart. You know you can manifest another soulmate or somebody else. You know that you can manifest your dreams to come true and that's what you guys are doing. Somebody may confide in you. Um, just um, protect secrets, but you know, use your intuition of what you should and should not say. You could just be a listening ear but you're trusting your own counsel. You're trusting yourself. And you know what's best for other people too. You are being granted this high position of being a high priestess from spirit because you're wise. Um, you have high morals. You guys are walking in your divinity and your spiritual divine path. So this is beautiful. Kudos for doing it right. So God is trusting you guys to be the high priestess. So I love it. I love it. Okay, Aquarius, let's close out your reading with a message from... The Magic Manifestation Oracle Deck by the Midnight Oracle Shop. Uh oh, that one fell. Hold on for one second. Let me get it because I do take them from the floor. If they came out, then they're important. So, what Spirit wants you guys to do is to reach out to somebody. It says, reach out, make connections with others from an authentic and vulnerable place. Show your soft and squishy side. Be relatable. Your affirmation is, I create genuine relationships. So, you guys will have new partnerships, new relationships. Uh, somebody could be reaching out to you. You could be reaching out to others. So I see collaborations. I see you talking with others, but they have to come correct. They have to be very respectful. They have to honor your time. They have to be on the right track. They have to, you know, stand in their own confidence as well because um, you're not playing any games and I don't blame you. You guys have come too far. You're focused on success. You're focused on pleasing God and doing what's best and happiest for you. Do not stop. 
Okay, Aquarius, this has been your reading for the month of May, your 2023. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you guys love and light, harmony, peace, prosperity, blessings, and of course, abundance. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye, Aquarius.